you know. But what I want to do is first get your devotional. What's your devotional this morning? I mean, not your devotional. Your uh, one of you know. Oh, I'll tell you. First. I'm glad to tell you. Let's let's see what, what it is. is. It's gonna be. Uh, let's see. It's like this is the. This is uh, August first. First. That's yeah. what it is. So it's gonna be Second Chronicles, thirty. It's uh, Hezekiah sent word to all Israel and Judah. And also wrote letters to Ephraim and Manasseh, inviting them to come to the temple of the Lord in Jerusalem, and celebrate the Passover of the Lord, the God of Israel. So okay. that's how that starts out. And then uh, Romans 15: We who are strong ought to let's see, ought to bear with the failings of the weak. And not to please ourselves. We who are strong ought to bear with the feelings of the weak, mm. not to please ourselves. That's not always easy to do, but that's, that's how it starts out. In Psalm 25 To you, O Lord, I lift my soul, in you I trust, O my God. Mm -hmm. And then Proverbs 20 uh, do not love sleep, or you will grow poor. Mm, that's, a that's a good one. <laughs> well, that that's is, a good one. But that doesn't apply to us because oh, you know, you know, we all we all we up in the morning. <laughs> oh yeah, well yeah, yeah. That, that's especially for a younger man. Do not love sleep, or you will go poor. Stay awake, and you will have food to spare. Thank you, yeah. Jesus. There you go. Work, 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 work. Man, wow. So that's awesome. what those are about. I was wondering, because all the stuff that's been happening, I mean, I don't know the last time I saw you, but all the stuff that's been happening, a lot of people have been passing and stuff like that, and a lot of stuff has been said, and uh, you know, change is, you know, always, always happening. Now, you, 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 you as a person, what, what are you thinking about these days? What's, what's, what's going on? Things are moving, you well, know? Well, I'm thinking, uh, I'm hoping, you know, there's always going to be change, but I'm hoping mm -hmm. that... Uh, uh, Actually, um, I uh, my prayer. One of my prayers is for for mm -hmm. uh, health and prosperity for for myself and our family. Mm -hmm. uh, and if I think about it, um, you know that's uh, it's good to pray for other things too, like noble things, like the you know the saving of the world and those those wonderful things that only the Lord can do. But Really, I'm just thankful to be to be healthy, have my wife healthy, and our family healthy, and uh, and, and prosperous. We can we have enough to we have good food. We have a you, you can see we have a roof over our head. It's mm -hmm. right there. Mm -hmm. And uh, but as far as change, mm. I love our country, and I I think uh, I'm what you call conservative. What that means is. To me, a conservative wants to keep the things that are good, but change mm. the other things can change. Mm -hmm. Things that are not so good need to be changed. Like this, uh, like uh, well, just take uh, take the take the problem of slavery that we had. Uh, when the country was young, slavery became a uh, practice in some of the colonies and. Uh, and not only, well, there was, of course, there was African American slavery, but also there were indentured servants. That was a that was a similar type of thing, where uh, people were people had such a debt that they became enslaved to the people that their creditors. In fact, it says that in the Bible, that the uh, the debtor is the slave of the creditor. But uh, well, I, um, I'm I'm just trying to figure because people always well when you put the indentures servitude versus the slavery that was practiced here in North America, especially. Yeah. It's a different kind of slavery. I mean, because yeah. and then so you, you can buy your way out. And a lot of times, uh, even before this, what, what they call what they call here was chattel slavery. It's like chattel slavery. Like you, you, oh, you actually own somebody, but then yeah. they even yeah. kept on changing the laws to where now you own that person, but then you own the offspring of that person and all this stuff. Yeah. But also, uh, from my understanding, also this whole beginning kind of slavery uh, it actually uh, was the foundation for for the for the country, as far as you know. You, that those people that 
those slaves back then, I guess you would call people of my lineage, mm -hmm. they, they would have, you know, you're, you're pulling trees out, you're, you're making the foundation, and you're not really, you're not being paid for that thing, you know, and then somebody else is getting the, the fruits of that, I don't want to say labor, yeah, the, fru yeah. the fruits of that of slavery. Yeah. You yeah. see, so that's sort of weirdly different. And and then yes, if, I see, if, I if see we just, if we, yeah, if we just is, stay with that, it's, it's kind of weird. Different. Because exactly. they tell me, I'm sorry, I don't want to interrupt you, but they even tell me that I mean, I read someplace, I, I saw, I don't I think I read it someplace that, no, somebody, I don't know where it was, but somebody said that a slave back then was almost uh, as valuable as a house, you know? Oh, yeah. Like that. And even somebody like uh, the found with uh, George Washington, he got he got his slave from his, his wife, and that's what enabled him to even become a, a landowner or prosperous enough to, well, be a general and, and be the first president of the country, you see? So it's a kind of a weirdly different thing. I don't know if we can... Even do, even talk about the two together, I see what you yeah. mean. Well, and of course, well, I, I have to I have to agree with you, except I don't agree that the, I agree that slavery was practice, of course, it practiced also in many other countries of the world. It's been practiced from all, uh, you know, in different countries in different times. But yes, in the United States it was. And, and um, I think that the the founding fathers, though, they knew that it was, they, they knew it wasn't right. They knew it wasn't right. And they, they in the documents, they, um, they wanted to plan on a, a uh, you know, they wrote, let's see, words I'm thinking of is um, we hold these truths to be self-evident that all men are created equal. Yes, that's the, the, yeah. the, the Thomas Jefferson thing? Yeah, Thomas yeah. Jefferson, mm -hmm. yeah. All men are created equal. And uh, they're derived by their creator with certain, or they're endowed by their creator with unalienable rights, life, liberty, and pursuit of happiness. Mm -hmm. Well, that's a beautiful thing to say, but as you point out, there was it, slavery was practice. I mean, we weren't we never were a perfect nation. No, we never were a perfect nation. And then, and then of course, but uh, in the South, when slavery became, uh, as, as time went on, the plantation system developed, and slavery became uh, such a way of life that the that the Southern people, they they wanted to say, well, this is you know this is just part of. This is just part of the Lord's plan. This is the way it works. Well, that's what they're saying. But isn't it sort of like an addiction? You know, <laughs> yeah. But but I'm minus. But the, the Northerners, the Northerners would say, neither would the abolitionists say, no, you've got to, you've got to get rid of this. You've got to get rid of your slave. It's not right, and it's, it's just terrible. Of course, see, they didn't have slaves, so it wasn't going to cost them anything because they, they well, didn't have anything to lose. Yeah, but I mean, history. But but that's later. I mean, the abolition they came later. Yeah, yeah, the slavery later, was already later. established. But yeah. as it, like I said, you first you clear the land. Now who's picking the cotton? And then that cotton has to go someplace. It goes up north. They they send it over to England. You know, they weave some stuff. So it's all sort of intertwined. You know, yeah. then, then England uh, goes to uh, England or whoever, France, whoever, Belgium, wherever they are. They they go to, to Africa and get some more slaves. It's like a they say with, with a triangular thing. They, yeah. they, they get rum from one place and cotton from yeah. another place and, and human bodies from another place. Yeah. So it's kind of intertwined. People, I'm trying to say to people. They sort of blame the South. That that's the focal point. But it's like a lot of people benefit from from that. I mean, you know, the North benefited oh, yeah. more, but yeah. they, they're the ones with the money. They're the ones that had to put up the money. You know. Yeah. yeah. You it's see, a, so it's it, that kind of. Well, you know? that's a good point. In other words, people were. It was a complex system, and a lot of people were benefiting from it. Oh, well, a lot of people, except for the slaves. They no, were, they were, <laughs> no, they were. Hurt, but I mean, it was it was horrible, and people. Uh, I think people realized. It was wrong. People realized it was wrong. Even uh, probably the ones that were practicing it re realized it was wrong. I mean, you know, a man is supposed to be well, ultimately uh, not, not enslaved by another. In fact, I think Lincoln said, uh, "Those who those who deny freedom to others deserve it not for themselves." Mm. But that's what I'm trying to say. See, when I think of people like Jefferson and, and, and Lincoln and like that, to me, they're still politicians. They have to say something to keep something together, mm -hmm. you know, to, to, to keep the, the whoever they're, you know, whatever nation or whatever states that they're, they're, they're trying to keep together like morning. that. Good morning. So so I'm, I'm just trying to figure out uh, in, in my head, you know, someone can say what one thing 
and be doing another. Je Jefferson is perfect. He's writing this stuff, all men are created equal, but he has slaves beyond the end. George Washington, the same thing. You know, he he didn't even free his slaves before. He did. It's kind of weird. In fact, he was pursuing one slave, one woman all the time. It's kind of, because certain things trump certain things. You understand what I'm saying? I'm trying to get my thoughts together on this because a lot of times I hear this stuff and I don't think, I think people latch onto one thing and they forget the five or six other things that that, that thing wrought, as they say. You yeah, know what I mean? Yeah. And I think well, that's you know, a, there's a problem there. Well, you know, I, I'm, having, I'm having to agree with you and what you're saying. But what I disagree with is is the people that say, well, you know, you merit, the founding fathers had, had slaves. Many of them had slaves. Mm -hmm. Therefore, therefore, they're no good at all. And also, oh, who the, says that? the country's no good. Well, that's huh. what some people are saying. saying. What are some people? How could you be no good and you have a, a, a document like the Declaration of Independence? That's there a good go. document. There you go. Or even, or, or, or even the Constitution. That, I guess that's a good, in fact, other people wanted to emulate the Constitution. Now, I know this yeah. from, you know, you know, you know I, um, I'm a Vietnam era person, but from yeah. my understanding, that guy, the Ho Chi Minh. I am too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, but the Ho Chi Minh guy, he even loved the Constitution so much, he wanted to talk to, to Johnson about the Constitution or whatever, and, and they just rejected him. So it's like, that's what I'm saying. The politicians get in the mix yeah. and things sort of change. They can yeah. say one thing and, you know, yeah. put this, you know, that, that, you, know you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know? I know what you're saying. <laughs> well, anyway, so I, I think, uh, you know, change, I'm conservative. What I consider conservative means keep what is good, like the Declaration of Independence. That's, man, that's good. That's a beautiful document in uh, our Constitution. But change the things that are wrong. There's plenty wrong with this country that need to be changed. And uh, you know, we talk about slavery. Sadly, slavery is slavery is practiced today. I mean, it's hmm. called it's called uh, human trafficking. Well, it's that's practiced today. That's one thing. But there, there's a whole other. Yeah, but that's true. That's true. Um, it doesn't affect, I guess, the states that much. You know what I mean? But there's this other thing. I would. Um, What's that? Uh, the, the, the debt, the debt slave, the wage slavery. You know this oh. whole disparity with, with with income and stuff like oh, that. Oh yeah, you mean yeah. we're talking about indentured servants? No, no, not them. Not the, that's yeah. that's different. I don't want to. That's that, no. I mean, oh, yeah. like um, like you you, mean, you you can't pay this bill, and so therefore this can't happen, or that can't happen, or how can I put this together? I'm trying to get my mind together on this. I think I think I follow you. You're talking about. Being the slave of debt, like a like a credit card debt, you can't pay off. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know. Is that what you're talking? About? Yeah, the, yeah, the, your, yeah. Your look, and it's like the thing. Yeah, the same thing. Debt. There's that kind of slavery, or your know, debt slave, whatever wage slavery. I don't know what they call it. Wage slavery. Sure, but, wage slavery. And, yeah. uh, and in other words, you you so a person can be so they need you know with our system they need they need money to live and. Uh, and so they're they're uh, enslaved to the the method they have of uh, uh, of of earning a, some kind of meag meager wage. Or, yeah, that can be yeah, they're debt slave or they're in debt. Yeah, yeah. I so mean, I, I I know uh, you know it's very possible in this country these these credit card companies will extend credit very easily. And then you, and then <laughs> very you, easily. Yeah. yeah, and then you a person gets in debt. And you get to the point where, well, you're paying, uh, all you can make is the minimum payment. The thing mm. is, the minimum payment will never get you out of debt. You're, mm. you're, in, a, you're in a debt trap. Mm. And that's very real. Mm. So, uh, yeah. So what are, your, what are your thoughts about how, about, about our, our country? You've lived in other countries. You lived in, well, you I lived, lived in uh, South Africa, haven't yeah, you? Yeah, I live in South Africa now. <laughs> but I live, like, I've been, all, I've been in a lot of places on the planet. Let's put it that way. Mm -hmm. Um, a lot of places. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's Central America, um, India, uh, Tottenham, I mean, all over South Far East, uh, uh, in the, all of, all over Europe. You know, I don't know. I, a lot of a lot of places. I, I, sometimes I guess I have to I have to make a list or something like that. But yeah. my my thoughts. I mean, I me mean, right now. My thought. If you want to go back, this whole this whole thing about how you say, oh man, there's this whole thing about. If I stay with the slavery and the debt, you know, there's a debt due. These people that were that were enslaved, and then they never got they not got paid for their wages. And then you have then you have them when when they're sort of free of slave, then they had to go to this whole 
prison system. You know, they, they even wrote in the Constitution, you're free, except if this happens, then you got to go to jail. So now you have the, you have the slave, you have basically, you have a jail system that yeah. enslaves people. And at the yeah. same time, if they're, they're enslaving people, then you have these other people, like when they were free, um, you, you know, these mobs, like this talk about the South, the Southern mobs would come and take away that freedom. Because a lot of times they say that it was a business, like I say, a black businessman would start a business and then the mob would come and tear down that business because they were either jealous or they were afraid that that, you know, that person of that, that lineage, that black lineage, would be more prosperous and outdo them. I don't yeah. know. I don't know. There's some sort of competition there. I don't know what, what that was all about. But you mean that's yeah, that's yeah, the kind of things. When I think like, about that, there's, yeah. there's no fairness. That, for me, it's not even. It's not. It's like it's not even fairness. Yes, yeah, fairness. There's no fairness because, look, like okay, say after World War Two, you know the the soldiers come home, and then the, the, the government they says okay we're gonna give everybody the GI Bill. Yeah. Well, they gave they gave, but they but they, but we're gonna put this through the banks. The banks is gonna administer the GI Bill. Well, then the banks say okay yeah fine, but we're not gonna give money to these black people. The black GI, white GI gets everything. The black GI gets nothing, and nobody says anything. There's no correction, you know. Well, that's not right. But that's but that's, but that's what happened. Yeah. Okay. I know for sure that I know that's what happened because it, it happened, you know. Yeah. So so I'm just trying to say, all throughout, it's like almost at every level, you know, stuff happens. Stuff happens. And, and, and black people have been uh, on the bottom. Discriminated against. Well, it's they've not been, even discriminated. They've, they've been made to go to go to the back of the bus. As you say. Well, even and more than that, more than discriminated, like exploited. Totally exploited, exploited, yeah. You know, exploited. Well, that's yeah. man. That's uh, that that's wrong. And I think that you know the civil rights movement and things like that has been has uh, happened historically because people have uh, stood up and said, "Hey, this is wrong," you know, and this is, this is not fair. And uh, and I think that the country has come a long way. There's nobody. The country's come a long way, but we're still not perfect. I don't know about this perfection in a long way. I don't think we're ever going to be perfect. Well, that's true. Not, nothing's perfect. We're on this planet. Nothing's perfect on this planet. Yeah. Or not on this realm. But the thing is, like, say, you talk about civil rights movement. The, the guy that just died, the, the the John Lewis guy, right? Yeah. Now, he he, you know, you know, he got get beat up on this on on that on that bridge there in wherever it was Mississippi or or I don't yeah. forget where it was. But the thing is, um, then he went to Congress somehow. He got to Congress, but in all those years. When, you, when I, I didn't pay really attention to all this funeral and everything like that, but all those years they tell me that you know he really his claim to fame was getting beat up on a bridge and just keep on being a moral conscious or something like. That. But the but the policy but the policy you know putting stuff in place, you know to to make laws to make policy that changes things he didn't really do any. And so those civil rights people they really didn't move move things along as far as unenslaving the people that was unfairly dealt with, you know, so, but at the same time, other uh, people kept on getting going, getting going, getting going, and then finally had, I, I noticed after 65, after 1965, you had a lot of immigration coming in, and then they basically was was beaten up on the, on the, <laughs> on the black people too, so they would get ahead. So, so basically the black people that the civil rights people was trying to help, they, they're still on the bottom. Everybody keeps on bottom feeding on them, so there's a whole lot of, Stuff to that. Well, that's a that's a that's a wow. That's a that's that's a bad situation. Well, I, that, I, you, you're I, telling me. <laughs> I, I like to tell myself that uh, that uh, people people do care, and we're trying to make it better. Yeah, but that's my saying. That's what that's what I'm trying to say. Like, I guess that's what I'm, I'm thinking about. Like, people do care, but caring is one thing, and and even setting a law is something, but following up on that law. And yep. you know, and and and, and making it. If it, in other words, you can write something, and the right the right sounds good. Yeah. But if you don't, I don't want to say enforce the right, but make sure that it keeps on going the way you envisioned it, or man, yeah. it created equal kind of thing. But if yeah. if as you know, it don't it don't make no sense to me. I mean, you know, at least to me, it don't make no sense, especially if. Well, you know, the only thing that, the only thing that's good about it is is. Uh, to me, is 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 the Lord. In other words, He He, he loves all of us, and uh, we've all got our imperfections, and we've all got we've all we're all if you get right down to it, we're all we're all sinners, and He tries to uh, 
he gives us, he's the only one that's going to give everyone a fair chance. Human beings are not. Yeah, I got that. But I'm saying that if, if, if but the Lord is not making policy, the, the, no. Lord, the Lord is making the people and the yeah. people are supposed to, again, you say, follow the Lord and make the policy yeah. In, yeah. In, the, in the Lord's he's image, in the Lord's right. thing. And the Lord's not if they're not policy. doing it. He's also not running for, for office, is he? But yeah, that's what I'm saying. See, if the people, see, because even when they run for office, they say this and that. But when they get in office, Let's put it this way. Now the Lord wouldn't change the the Lord wouldn't change their mind. The Lord said set a policy it then the Lord won't change his mind or in the middle or or, or, say, or or basically they lie. Let me put that. The Lord is not supposed to lie, but people lie. So people lie. Yeah. So yeah, and, so and my, I can't, I, I'm not disagreeing with you. I hear what you're saying here. I hear what you're saying. So what are we gonna do about it? Well, I mean, I don't well I think with okay, like you you when you said that you for your family, for you and your, and your wife and your family and your house, you start with that, and that's and that's solid, right? Well, so that's solid. So, so, so easy. A, no, this is let me put it this way. I give thanks for that, man. I'm, it's, it's, right. I'm, I'm, we're, we're totally blessed with that, and we have been for a long time. So I'm I'm thankful for it, and I don't take it for granted. I mean, uh, to put it uh, to put it in terms in secular terms, you know, I, I give a, I give the Lord credit for. For sharing all these blessings with us, or giving them to, us. put it in secular terms, you know, or put it in in any kind of terms. I could have here we're sitting and talking. I could I could have a I could have a heart attack. And mm. uh, you know, I'm a I got a body just like everybody mm. to, to fall over, and then that could be the end of my life. We don't know when the end of our life is coming. And you also, I could lose everything that I have. So that's why I give. But that's, thanks for it. I put, put it this way. I'm, that's what I'm, I'm saying. Your, your individual thanks is like that. So you're solid like that. But it comes to be like, let me give you a better example. But I know this because I, um, my, my niece one time, she had to, she played this uh, historical figure called Ida B. Wells back there, in, you know, right after slavery, you know, 18, whatever it was, 90s or something like yeah. that. So she was a woman that was in, in one place, I think it was Kentucky, someplace in the South. And, they, they, and there was a... a uh, and and there was a, a, a like a, a shop, you know, like a, a grocery store, you know, like a, a whatever like that. And it was in this part of town. And then across the street was this other person, and, and that was a, a a white man that had his grocery store. And the black grocery store was being prosperous. And she, and and so he that guy got mad and angry, or whatever have you. There was a fight broke out with some kids. And then the, that guy had the sheriff and whatever have you. And other white people came and burned down that shop. You know, like that. The woman got yeah. so upset. And the fact that they, they're old, and she was writing, she was doing a newspaper, that's what it was. Her name is Ida B. Wells. She was doing a newspaper. She and she was reporting on this. And the they, the white newspaper said, oh, this happened, this happened. But she was upset because she, he was a, a friend of hers. And they told her, they got word out to her, if she came back, they were gonna kill her too, because they killed this man. Him and two other, but they went out there and took him out of town. And killed him just like that, and, 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 and burnt down, and came back horrible. and burnt down. They did. But what happened is they, she, they were saying he was going to come and get her. Now this is a situation where that man is supposed to have been doing prosperous. The, the black man was doing prosperous. She was minding her own business. The newspaper came and lied. The the, the, the white man who has some, I guess, some power with the sheriff or whoever with the law came. You see, so they had a mob thing, to, and she had to get run out of town. She dedicated the rest of her life to about lynching and stuff like that. And she reported on all these lynchings and killings that was happening. That's that Jim Crow thing that was happening. So I'm yeah. just trying to say, even if you individually do something, if you if 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 the sheriff didn't do something, if there wasn't decent, I don't know. Look, if if you're, if you're prosperous, then why are you gonna be why are you gonna be mad at somebody else who's prosperous? It's you just like je just that jealousy thing or whatever it is. You, you shouldn't be. No, you shouldn't be. I mean, if if, if I'm if I'm <coughs> I'm blessed, mm -hmm. and I'm I'm hoping that you're blessed too. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't. I'm not gonna be mad that you're if, if you're if you're blessed. That doesn't make sense to me. But mm -hmm. I, but I know some people feel that way. Some people, some people don't want to see. Uh, for some reason, they, oh well, it's it's uh, envy and jealousy that, that gets into the mix, which is which is uh, not, good, not good. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. That the, but but if you if you envy and jealous, and then you have some sort of I say power influence with with, with people, then you can turn that envy and jealousy into some real harm for some people that that don't deserve it. Let's put it that way. Yes, sir. And yes, this sir. and that's not that. That's not good. That's no, not. not good. That's not right. Not and, but not but if the good people, I guess they say that if the good people allow that.
to continue to happen and continue time and time again is the spinning wheel. If the country can't get better if the spinning wheel spins us in a, in a bad direction. Yeah, I, I you agree. You see what I'm saying? I agree. I agree. So, right. so in other words, the question is, uh, how do we how do we make it better? How do we make it better? Because well, those, those, I, the, the problems that you're bringing up are real. They're not they're not imaginary. Uh, uh, uh. I, I don't know. I don't know. Well, look, man, uh, I think we talk, <laughs> talk <laughs> maybe another time, you know, like. Uh, I mean, we haven't uh, we haven't solved all the world's problems. Well, uh, I, 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 well, no, 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 you shouldn't be kidding. The we, we, that's, we that, about that, that, that's our job. We, Nobody we, was supposed we to, about we to find a way to do that. Yeah, that's our that's our task on the planet to find a way to do that. But to do that again, we find a way to, to make things better with the Lord's help. Yeah, if we can. That'd but but I think first we got to tell the we got to tell the what is how to say how to say uh, tell the truth and shame the devil. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And I think a lot of people just not just not telling the truth. That's that's it, the whole thing. I think I think the truth is a powerful thing because when you hear the truth or you hear someone else tell the truth, you you, you recognize it as the truth. It's not. It's like, um, you know. This, this Bible that I, I read and study, it has, one thing that interests me is it has what I call the authenticity of detail. In other mm -hmm. words, it's not just telling a general story in, mm -hmm. in general terms. It's mm -hmm. talking about specific historic events, specific mm -hmm. people, specific, specific sins, specific punishment. It's a, uh, it's the detail is is amazing, and some of the like some of the places, like you know, a lot of these talk about the Old Testament. A lot of the places I don't recognize because they're they don't have the same name today. But then you you come out something like uh, Damascus. Well, Damascus still exists. Mm. Yeah. Well, you Jerusalem know, still exists. I mean, I don't want to get off that point, but uh, 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 when you say that, I, I'm thinking of something specific, like. Uh, like at that funeral, now I do, I saw a clip of this. Um, Bill Clinton spoke, the, the ex president there. He yep. spoke at that at that uh, that John Lewis funeral, and he did something that was so strange. You know, he he actually dumped on. See, John Lewis, that guy, he was uh, he was replaced by a guy named Stokely Carmichael. I think his name, they changed his name oh, okay. to, to Kwame Torre or something like that. I saw and, it. Okay, good. Yeah, and then Bill Clinton, for for no particular reason, went and dumped on Stokely Carmichael. You know, well, why, why this is you? Why are you dumping somebody? Almost like saying that the guy was wrong. But then, when you look at what Stokely Carmichael was saying, he wasn't saying nothing radical. He was basically he was just saying, okay, you have this problem. Let's look at the problem from a, a, a bunch of perspectives, not just this perspective, other perspective. So, say for instance, like you know, if, if drugs come into the community, then you're gonna say, oh, you got the, the black people taking drugs. Whatever. Well, how did the drugs get there? Who who profits from them? They didn't grow their own. There's a, a lot of little things to look at, but. Yeah, but yeah. but for but but for the morning, Ron. Got a pr nice morning for a walk. Until it rains. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, I, I'm just trying to say there was no. Now Bill Clinton had the power when he did. In fact, when he was president, that's what that's when the drugs really started to come into the community. So it's weird because he had the power. He, he was in position to make policy to improve things, but yet and still he went against things. You see, that's it's kind of weird to me, you know. Cause, you know, I, 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 don't, I don't see how I don't see how you can say one say one thing, but be doing something that's totally opposite of what you're saying. It's setting policy that affects generations and generations and generations. Yeah, well, look it's kind of that, strange yeah. to me. I don't know how how you can well, do some that. Of these, some of these politicians, they, they, you know, they say they'll say anything, anything that plays, and then they they do what they they do what they want to do, and they and a lot of times. It seems like they're they're just doing what's um, you know they're they're just really they're they're selfish creatures. Yeah, yeah but but, but we, we 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 but we people people follow them. They they agree with them. I don't. I'm trying to say I don't agree. I'm, look, the, the bottom line is I don't know why the, I don't know why somebody like Bill Clinton is going to keep on saying that that somebody else was wrong. And nobody else can say that. Well, Bill, you wrong. You know, <laughs> so well, how did, you know? I don't. He didn't, he didn't do anything about it when he was prison. Is that what no, he he called. He 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 helped make it worse. Oh. That's what I'm saying. Well, that's the policy that was put in place. Like right now, you got the guy Joe Biden. You know what I mean? Well, he he said policy that that 
that put things in place that was really bad for the black community. You you taught the black yes, you, yes. You taught the you taught didn't you teach at the first black school? But, yeah. So you saw all the stuff that was uh, how you say not the round the, the results of those policies that well, it was Bill Clinton, it was Joe Biden, you know, yeah. they, they put in place you saw that. You saw the results of that when those kids came in. I'm sure you saw one year the kids were one way, the next year they changed, they changed. Then their fathers were being locked up, drugs coming. All I saw you. Didn't you? Didn't you go through that? Didn't you see that? You taught in that era. Yeah, yeah. I saw. I saw that the the, the black families had been uh, had been damaged, destroyed. Media, yes, destroyed. Really. Yes, destroyed. that's what I'm talking about. Who That's and, what I'm saying. Who and destroyed? No, with no father. With no father, the children are gonna, the children are gonna go in, in a bad way. And yeah, but how did that? That's my point. Is how did that happen? If if you have a discriminatory practice, you can't buy a house. Uh, you you, you they, they they just they scrim, they they make sure that you get the worst job, and then they then they put they make some law, they make some law that that what's that crack cocaine thing where the the rich people. They, they don't get locked up, but the poor people get locked up, taking away those fathers and those men out of the community. But yet, and still, the white people don't. They don't do that. Those white men stay in the community. You know, they don't destroy the white family. Yeah, yeah. that's my point. I guess well, that's my a, that's my real point. You got a good point. So, you so, got a good so, point. So in the, in the, yeah, in the, uh, yeah. So, in other words, yeah. I mean, it is. It's it's the and black, and the my problem, and that's I'm sorry, but those same people are still around, and they still that's what that's what upset me about this Bill Clinton. That they still around, still trying to justify what they did, and that's wrong. I'm sorry, that's wrong, wrong, wrong. And we allow them to get up there and keep on justifying what they did time and time again. No. Yeah. No. Well, that's why I like. Uh, I like uh, the thing I like about. Uh, Donald Trump is he's he's not a politician and he generally he's a businessman. He generally says what's on his mind. I mean it offends a lot of people. He hurts a lot of feelings and he he wants he says what he thinks. But at least he says what he's saying what he thinks. I believe he's saying what he thinks. Where there's other politicians, man, they'll tell you one thing and do just the opposite behind your back. Well, then, but then again, you know, again, he's, he, but he's in a political, how has it, a political uh, arena. Yes, he is. Now. So, 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 so that means that he can say one thing, but what's happening? What's he doing? That's a whole other thing. Remember, that's what politicians do. They say one thing, yeah. and then they do another. Now, I mean, I, I don't, I don't really follow Donald Trump's policy. I just know that things keep on changing. People say he change, change, change. I don't know what that's. Or speaking of mind is speaking of mind. But what's the policy he put well, in know, place? I'm, I'm that's what I'm saying. That. Everything, everything changes. So what are what are we going to hold on to? To me, the only thing we can hold on to is 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 the uh, is our, our faith in God and and the goodness of the Lord. Because everything else is going to change. And it's constantly changing. Yeah. Well, listen, Vaughn, listen. It was it was wonderful talking to you again this month. I got to get back. You know, dog, well, the doggies all right. He's not doing nothing. Yeah, but I, I, I want to. I, I, I got to go. A conversation yeah. because of, yeah. I have to go. I, I, I got, I'm supposed to nourish my body this morning. I got to get some fruit and something in my body. I think this Saturday I'm going to make some pancakes, I think. That sounds good. Yeah, because I got some maple syrup. I like to yeah. put pancakes in maple syrup. And you know what else I have? Guess this. They, I found out here they have a, 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 a store here, the Global Market or something like that. Yeah. It's up there near yeah. Kirkwood or something like that. But I get, here we go, goat's milk butter. Goat's well, milk I, butter. Somewhere. I don't even know what that would taste like. It tastes good. <laughs> it's it's a butter from goats yeah. rather than go. cows. Oh yeah. man, I, I yeah. saw that and I'm going like, hey, yeah. I think this is different. I'll yeah. put some goat's milk yeah. butter in me. So I'm gonna I'm gonna make me some pancakes and have some goat's milk butter with some yeah. maple syrup. That sounds like a plan. I think I got some blueberries around here someplace too. Yeah. Yeah. All right, man. You you have a great day. You, do, you know. Man. Thank you for everything. You You're know? very welcome. I, right. I like. I enjoy our discussion. Okay. So let's continue this discussion. Okay. 